解できません負傷して現場を離れるとはどういう意味でしょうか私を遠ざけるためですか我らの決起が成功するとは限らないこれはリスクヘッジだ私に万が一があった場合君に組織の再興を依頼したいそれは他の人にご依頼ください私は隊員たちとダメだそれはできないなぜです連中は私の計算以上に組織に深く浸透しているおおそんな投資たちの中に裏切り者がいるというのですか裏切りではない誘導されているだけだおそらく本人たちも気づいていないだろうだが我々が決起するには都合のいい条件が整いすぎている何者かが私たちに武装放棄をさせようとしていると可能性の問題だそうでないのならば Just like how there were plants in a in alternative There are plants in Sagiri's group that you know set off the, you know, the conflict Cause like initially Sagiri's group after you know they beheaded you know Chizuru's dad um they were just like posted outside the like the big government building or whatever and then there was a fucking there was a plant inside their organization that fired off the first shot I believe is what happened if I remember correctly so something similar yeah so <laughs> ここで私が立たなかった場合誰かが代理として立てられる彼らの私が心底から信用できるのは君を含めごく少数だ分かってくれさよこ<笑>後悔ばかりの人生だった肝心な選択の時私は必ずミスをしてきた綾峰中将も私が敗れた時いや君にだけは生きていてほしいというのが私の本音だ頼むわかりましたあの人は女の求めるものを理解しない人だったな<笑> Oh damn, Jepard had like another ten days, alright 以上になる繰り返しになるが JFK ハイブの成長速度は速いこれは我々人類による間引きが行われていないためだと思われる Oh it's a it's time time huh? はいこのまま JFK ハイブを放置した場合 JFK とは別の新たな陸上ハイブの建設着工が早期に開始される可能性があるそして南半球にハイブが多数建設された場合ハイブから生産されたベータが低酸素体を経由し陸路からシアトルへ進行してくる可能性が生まれるよって我々人類は予防的措置として4カ国共同で軍を編成し JFK ハイブ攻略を決行することとなった、mm -hmm. I'm sure this is gonna go well too Having all four of these countries come together I'm sure there's gonna be no issues out on the battlefield or, or anything It's finally happening We can't be stuck on the defensive forever. These bastards are multiplying every day while more of our people die with each passing battle. So really, at some point, we have to take the fight to them. But the timing couldn't be worse. As if launching an attack on a hive wasn't bad enough, I also have to deal with all that other stuff I heard about from Major Jinguji. Oh, <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> And know the details. Heard a joint operation between the four countries was in the works, but nothing concrete. Pretty much. Sorry, bro. There's some stuff I just can't go sharing around. Oh, God. Don't tell me I'm gonna lose my boy. You ain't wrong. We're taking one hell of a gamble here. Not only has humanity never captured a hive without resorting to G-bombs, but our forces are a pale shadow of what they used to be before Babylon. It's a high-risk, high-return operation. Now, 
One month from now. Fair point. That's yeah, not going down well. There's nothing wrong with what he's saying. It's just that it's a pretty bitter pill to swallow for all of us. Too much blood has been shed. We can't put the past behind us in a matter of days. だが考えてほしい。死んでいった彼らは復讐をそれは。15に残してきた家族の友人 What? Is that someone from the French forces clapping? <clears throat> <laughs> Ellen knows who it is, dude. She's like, oh, I'm a bitch. Damn. Talk about a 180. The vibe is totally different in here now. <laughs> Same here. Time to head back to base. It was a long ass meeting. Sorry, tomorrow we'll be hashing out the finer details in subcommittees. Large scale ops like this really take their toll on you mentally, though in a completely different way than a last minute operation. Everyone's feeling the strain, yours truly is no exception. Good thing we still have time to make this work somehow. We need to be running this fight over and over again in the simulators. Gotta clock in as many hours as possible before the real thing. Man. I feel like I'm going to be kicking a hornet's nest. I'll need to have a talk with the captain about getting us more simulator time. Let's hope the Royal Guard is willing to play ball. <laughs> of course not, sir. My apologies, Major Walken. Yeah, I agree. We should set aside some time to catch up. <laughs> God, I can't tell if Walken's just that tall or if fucking Bernadette here is just that short. <laughs> A new friend? <laughs> she hardly comes up to his chest. I'm Lieutenant Tatsunami Hibiki with the IJMDF Seattle Contingent, 1st Tactical Armored Regiment, 1st TSF Battalion, 17th Flight. <laughs> Quite the name. French Army, huh? She's the one who started clapping. Now that I take a good look at her. <laughs> Man, is she tiny or what? I can't believe she's a foreigner. No, seriously. She must be she must barely have one or two inches on Miyono. Damn. Now I really want to make him stand side by side. What the fuck did she just say? That's not how you go around making friends, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I see you're lacking in social graces, Captain Bernadette Le Midget de la Demiere. Or else you would know it's bad marriage to talk about someone else's appearance. I'm surprised someone shorter than myself. Oh my god, they're covering Miyoto's eyes in the background. I love it. 
surprised someone shorter than myself would dare ridicule me for my height. Talk about missing the beam in your eye. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! of me. She's dead. Once I'm back in my shit, anyway, first order of business is wiping this chick from my IFF. What? What is she talking about? Persuaded of what? Rude. This is the only face I've got. Oh? Oh, hello. Oh! Hello, you must be our Canadian representative. Captain Ironside, that's right. ちょっと待て。思いのほか盛り上がっていたようで紹介するタイミングを意識していた。いや、いがたらわん。That was an a lively conversation, Major. I was just Captain Rivier acting like a You'd think for someone who makes, you know, so many appearances throughout these episodes, he'd actually have his own model at this point. And they gave that one, like, uh... That one army general that was, like, uh, the fucking brigadier general or whatever his title was. They gave him a character model. They gave... Who else was it that they gave a character model? Oh, I don't even remember. And that's the point. I don't even remember who the fuck that one person was. There was another person that was like, oh shit, they have their own character model now? Okay. I don't even remember who it is at this point. But like, they... They'll give character models to this Captain Ironside guy. But like, this, this Lieutenant Hill dude, who's been, I'm pretty sure in every, in all three of Hibiki's episodes, he's just like, oh yeah, he's there somewhere. I mean, he definitely exists. No idea what he looks like, though. Like, he, you know, he's not important. I mean, you speak to him in every episode, but you know, he's not that important. It's like, damn. Ouch, you know? I really hope that nose of his is prophetic. It ain't just a cold. If you say so. Lieutenant Shelberg, long time no see. <笑><笑>そうだな。あの日の戦場で一番目立っていたのは間違いなく辰波中尉だ。撃ってくれと言わんばかりに目立ってたな。え。Seriously? <笑> Everyone? Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt the moment, but may I ask what you meant when you said the stuff about persuading the people who mattered? それは俺から説明させてもらおう。注意の行動は和平を求めるという話が口先だけのごまかしでないことを証明していた。そういう敵がいてくれるのであれば。Oh. I see now. われわれは次の戦いで我々の立場を証明しなければならない。過酷な要求があるであろうことも承知している。だが、先に注意が証明してくれたのだ。我々にもできないはずがない。Hell yeah. The way he talks, Captain Ironside knows the Canadians and the French are getting metaphorically thrown to the lions. During a hive capture operation, no less. There's got to be a whole lot of anger and frustration brewing under the surface. Even so, they've got the balls to handle it. 
宣言させてもらうわ。来たる作戦で、US マリーンは先人を務める。Well, of course, you're going back to where you fucking you know, were ran away from. たとえ世界が四カ国まで小さくなろうと。Oh, sure that too. Lieutenant Shelberg. 冒険少佐もご理解ください。なぜなら我々は。US マリーンだからです。Yeah, I'm sure there's no other ulterior motive behind it. 上陸作戦の段取りについては、今後随時公開していく。だが、一つ言っておくが、反応路制圧こそが、市場の目標だ。我々は、それが可能になるように、作戦を構築していくだけだ。ネイジャー・ワーク・ンシュー・アズ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・
can practically see it. 20 lashes every time a dude slips out. Whatever. Too early to start worrying about the future when I have no idea why they've summoned me in the first place. <clears throat> that guy in black is nowhere to be seen. Talk about taking your sweet ass time. Calm down. I'm sure I'll be here in like five more minutes. Maybe I should do something to pass the time. Maybe you shouldn't. I could keep myself busy counting the stains on the ceiling. There's none. So much for that. I'm so nervous that I'm about to piss myself. Definitely don't do that. <laughs> it's occupied. I've done goofed. I'm not in the toilet. Why the hell did I say that? Oh shit. I'm done for. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm First Lieutenant Tatsunami Hibiki with the IJMDF 1st Tactical Armored Regiment stationed in Seattle. Oh, damn. Real life red. Yes, sir. Pardon my rudeness. Let's see if I still remember my civics lessons. Purple's like the Shogun. The five regent houses are blue. And one rung below them, the most influential hereditary daimyo were red. Holy shit. In the old days, this dude would have been a freaking feudal lord or something. Uh, I'm honored. Ugh, I am blowing this. Isn't this guy, like, really high in the food chain? I mean, he's probably an advisor to his excellency himself, right? To be honest, I actually don't have a clue how many people even work in government these days. Since the supreme military leader is one of the blues, it makes sense the reds would be involved somehow. Yep, it sure as hell ain't a social call. Yes, you look so happy about saying that. Thank you, but I can't take all the credit. I just happen to be in the right place at the right time. To tell the truth, I think I've had a streak of good luck, that's all. <laughs> Yes. Good luck, huh? Well, he's right, in a sense. Despite everything I've been through, I've been scraping by on dumb luck and lived to tell the tale. Well, I know what he's trying to say. I've served with some straight-up awesome pilots. Guys who could give it their all every day, unlike me. They should be here now instead. Your words ring true, Lieutenant Colonel. But they didn't survive. I did. Maybe they died in my place, so I could become the person I am today. Yes, sir. I agree with you. He's telling me not to blame myself for the deaths of those I've lost. Eh, that it's fine if you survive. You can always pick up the pieces and start all over again. And that's why it's a sin to throw your life away, because it forecloses any chance to atone. Forever. Yes, sir. It's not the first time I had to remind myself of that lesson, and it won't be the last, because if I don't, I'll soon end up wallowing in my sorrows. That's a kind of an abrupt change in topic. Sigemonak. 
It means we don't know for how long we'll be able to hold the enemy at bay. Every time the beta attack, we lose surface pilots and TSFs. Despite our desperate need to invest in infrastructure, they force our hand, diverting our scant resources to weapons manufacturing instead. And supply can't keep up with the demand anymore. We've won every single time so far, but since we're stuck fighting the same battles time and again, it's hard to deny their Pyrrhic victories. If I may, that's precisely why all four countries need to work together. The JFK Hive capture operation is an American initiative, and it's a given they have ulterior motives, but the rest of the world still stands to benefit. A cosmopolitan world order. I think I get what he's hinting at. The formation of a new United Nations forces. Our governments could only begin to explore the possibility during the peace conference, but didn't have time to decide anything concrete. That might change depending on how the operation goes. Yes, sir. No oh, shit, dude. Even if all four countries are working in lockstep, that doesn't guarantee we'll double our military strength or that we'll set up a system that ensures our political stability in the long term. Everything hinges on the outcome of the coming operation. Still, there's something I gotta say. You may think I'm naive, and maybe I am, but I'm sure that humanity will find a way to ensure its survival. Cool. I'm not trying to say we just need to sit down and have a brainstorming session. I'm not that optimistic. But as long as we remain steadfast, I believe humanity will pull through. I don't have the power to save the world. No matter how much people admire me, that's the honest to God truth. The one thing that unites us is hope. Even if all we have even if we all have our own agendas, we can still work together. That's why we should welcome this operation with open arms. That's what our highness is slaving away for. Who cares what the end result looks like? The important thing is that it happens. Yes. Her Highness? Not His Excellency? Yeah, this guy's done his homework. That spiel about Her Highness? He's testing me, seeing how I react. Unless there's something else I'm missing. I think I understand. What? Of course not. Yeah, exactly. You ain't leaving your girl behind. I... No way in hell can I can do that. I... I'm grateful for the opportunity, but... Can't wear my way out of this one. Still have much I want to accomplish in the IJMDF. I can't afford to quit just yet. Regardless, I'm grateful for the invitation. Even if I have to decline, I hope you can forgive me. My apologies. I see. How come? Well, it was that obvious, huh? That makes an awful lot of sense, actually. Yes, sir. I'm gonna do just that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. My apologies, sir.
the, the supreme military leader? But wait, she can't be talking about Lord Ikaraka, can she? Nah, uh, set up on purpose. Wait, is he serious? Uh, excuse me, I think I better... I mean, please allow me to take my leave. Mm-hmm, as if this wasn't all intentional. Uh, I, I mean, what? This spells trouble. Her Highness doesn't care if I drop the formalities, but I utterly suck at this etiquette thing. The Royal Guard's scary as hell, man. They care so much about proper manners. No, wait a second. That's not even the main problem. If this guy knows I'm on Her Highness's side, Lord Akaraga has to know too. <laughs><笑> Oversharing, are we? That's only making it worse. Oh shit, it's actually happening. すまんな、マカベ。大客中とは聞いていたのだが、至急相談した意見があってな。あ、はて。うん。Uh-oh. <laughs> Royal Guard government's very own strong man. Commander who led our troops during the fall of Kyoto. A hero who dominates the battlefield in his blue Takamikazuchi. One of the most renowned surface pilots in the entire Royal Guard. Crowd favorite to stand beside Her Highness Yuhi. And the cherry on top? He's a damn sight better looking than I am. Taller, too. I mean, I put. Yep, I'm done here. Oh. そこの兵士が先の戦争を休戦に導いた英雄立浪響吉中尉ですよ。ああ、思い出したぞ。盲読招待の立浪注意だったな。いなそうやん。立浪注意。改めて紹介というのもおかしな話だが、正義軍艦